The First People's Disability Network, or FPDN, is a national organisation of and for Australia's first people with disability, their families and communities. For millennia, First Nations peoples, communities and cultures have practised models of inclusion. However, First Nations people with disability and their families are amongst the most seriously disadvantaged and disempowered members of the Australian community. People with disability in the First Nations community have to operate in multiple worlds, First Nations, disability and mainstream society. These worlds are often separated by policy and program frameworks and silos. FPDN is a member of the Coalition of Peaks and are the peak for the community-controlled disability sector. The National Agreement on Closing the Gap was endorsed in July 2020 and is a partnership with all Commonwealth, state and territory governments, the local government authority and the coalition of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peak organisations. FPDN are excited about the opportunities the Closing the Gap National Agreement and Australia's disability strategy will bring to ensure the priorities, needs and aspirations for First Peoples with disability are accessible, inclusive, equitable in legislation, policies, programs and service delivery. At the centre of the National Agreement are full priority reforms that focus on changing the way governments work with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. They are formal partnerships and shared decision-making, building the community-controlled sector, transforming government organisations, and shared access to data and information at a regional level. Disability intersects across all socioeconomic targets, priority reforms and other aspects of the national agreement. This ensures all actions are accessible, inclusive and equitable for First Nations people with disability. Australia's disability strategy from 2021 to 2030 is Australia's national disability policy framework and plays a role in protecting, promoting and realising the human rights of people with disability, in line with Australia's commitment under the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, the UNCRPD. All levels of government developed and have committed to the strategy, which sets out priorities and plans for governments to work with the community, businesses and peoples with disability to deliver the changes needed. All jurisdictions have a responsibility to apply the UNCRPD, Australia's Disability Strategy, Closing the Gap Principles and Priority Reforms to the Policies, Programs and Services that fall under the strategy. Under Priority Reform 2 of Closing the Gap, four sectors were initially identified for national investment and a coordinated approach, leading to the development of sector strengthening plans for early childhood development and care, health, housing and disability. In 2022, FPDN worked with the members of the Coalition of Peaks and all jurisdictions to develop the Disability Sector Strengthening Plan. This meant defining the complex framework of approaches, services and supports provided across the life course to enable First Nations people with disabilities to realise their rights and participate in all aspects of their life. That framework includes the Aboriginal Community Controlled and Non-Indigenous Disability Sector, but also services in early childhood, education, health, social and emotional well-being, employment, housing and justice. The Disability Sector Strengthening Plan focused on the community controlled sector, identifying 31 action and outcome areas to strengthen workforce, capital infrastructure, service delivery, governance, consistent funding models and the peak body. The Disability SSP is a resource to be used by governments and the Coalition of Peaks over the next three years to prioritise, partner and negotiate beneficial sector strengthening strategies. The plan was endorsed in 2022 by the Joint Council, which is made up of state and federal ministers plus local government and peak representatives. The Joint Council is responsible for the national leadership coordination and cooperation on closing the gap. The Disability Sector Strengthening Plan sets out guiding principles that reflect the unique experiences of First Nations people with disability and their specific cultural rights and needs. These principles are endorsed at all levels of government and align with both closing the gap agreements and the National Disability Strategy. They are available to all jurisdictions to guide policy development, implementation and evaluation of policies and programs. FPDN is growing as an organisation with further development in human rights education to sectors and communities, policy and systemic advocacy, 
strengthening sector capacity and capability, data and research, and accessible communication. We're excited to work together with the community controlled sector, the Coalition of Peaks, and the government to ensure closing the gap and Australia's disability strategy improves the lives of First Peoples with disability. For more information, visit our website at www.fpdn.org. Dot au.